Welcome back to Wolf Cry Beard Company. The name's Koi. Thanks for stopping by for another beard update video. So right here is uh, nine months. I'm only two days late, so uh, I guess that's a lot better than uh, ten days like uh, last month. So a lot has changed, uh, especially with our website, our products, um, and plus with me growing a beard. We'll dive down into uh, into everything and we'll have a lot of fun. So we're going to do some side shots up close. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my personal uh, preferences on bearding and uh, and my feelings. So uh, let's do it. So right here is uh, the side shot of my beard. It's uh, it's really full. It's really thick. Here's uh, up close. Now I'm going to talk about what has happened in this past month and then we're going to go and dive into the website, how it's changed, how our products have changed, and uh, you know, that'll be uh, that. So uh, as of last month, I uh, trimmed up my handlebars a little bit. They were getting kind of crazy and uh, hair kind of does that. And then uh, I trimmed up my beard. I took about half inch off. But as you can see, my beard's a lot bigger than what it was last month. That's one of uh, the main things that you want to do is every now and then you want to trim the length and your hair will come back with a vengeance. Um, it has made my beard a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it's given all those slow uh, growing hairs a chance to catch up. And, uh, you know, I am glad I did that. It has taught me uh, one vital tool that I will never ever be able to shave my face. Uh, that's that. I will always have a beard and uh, it's one of the, the great enjoyments that I get out of life. I love having a beard. It completes me. It is who I am. So uh, with that being said, there's two different kinds of uh, bearded guys. You have one guy that's growing it. It's what I call a speed grow. So they just grow it for a couple years. They don't trim it up and uh, you know, at that point, their their hairs at the bottom are really lacking nutrients. They're dry, uh, they're uh, frizzy. But then you have the beardsman that has started growing his his beard and trimming it while it is growing, like every six to eight months. And at the end of two years, his beard is going to look so much more healthier because he does keep up on that regular maintenance. Uh, yeah, sure, all of us can let our beards go. But when we do take care of it, we do, uh, we do put high uh, quality products in it. Uh, you will have a beard that you are proud of. Um, so that being said, let's talk about our website and uh, how it's changed and uh, how it's a little bit better. So before everything was listed on one page and that was too chaotic for me. I'm a very organized person and uh, it, that's definitely not the look that I wanted for uh, my company uh, website. So I had to go in and I single-handedly categorized everything. So if you look now we've added new things. We got beard soaps. Um, we have uh, we have new Wolf Cry apparel which the shirt that I'm wearing, that's a shirt that you'll get if uh, you order. Do got to say they are pretty comfortable, so. And then on top of that, we just categorize everything with beard oil. If that's what, uh, that's what you like, you can just click on that. You don't have to bother with everything else. Everything's listed underneath beard oil. Beard balms. Um, we have all of our beard balms in one category. Beard soaps. Uh, you pretty much get the drift. Um, so uh, we have changed our products a little bit. We have been listening to customers. And that, that is what Wolf Cry Beard Company is all about. We are here to make bearding fun and take away all the damn headaches that comes along with all the naysayers out there telling you need to do this and this and this. A lot of it is uh, hogwash and uh, I'm just putting that out there. So uh, everyone loves our beard oil, but they hated our bottles for a reason. And I was with them. So that was our old bottles, and they come with these. These are called European dripper bottles. And I've come up with the consumption that uh, and over in Europe, they have a lot more time than us Americans. Uh, why I mean that is because with these dropper bottles, 
it takes a good 5-10 minutes to get a dime size amount out. So a lot of customers, including myself, was actually popping this off. And now you have an open bottle and you can spill it, you can waste it, and uh, that's not good for nothing. So uh, we have uh, taken this bottle down and now we have our new bottle. We have redid the labeling. It's uh, more sharp looking. And now it's a dripper bottle. These bottles we are marketing as 15 milliliters. But I do fill it all the way up to the top. And uh, so it you will get 16.9 uh, milliliters. It's a little bit more than 15 milliliters. And uh, an another thing that was... Uh, we didn't have any comments from customers, but this is sort of like my own uh, reinventing uh, a, a product, which was uh, our Beard Balm Tins. I didn't like how the Beard Balm Tins, whenever you applied beard oil, your, uh, your hands were really greasy and to, uh, or oily, and to get uh, that, that Beard Balm Tin off was kind of uh, cumbersome. So uh, we have now invested in screw top and if you have arthritis these are the tins that you want they come off super easy and uh, if you're wanting to know it's wolf's blood yes uh, I love uh, the wolf's blood the new apple pie moonshine scent is uh, it's up there with their number one seller apple pie moonshine this stuff is just wow it's it's really good so uh, this is Koi I appreciate all you uh, for your support. We love you. Uh, we appreciate you coming back, uh, checking out uh, our new products, uh, new beard updates. So uh, until next time, uh, from WolfCryBeardCompany.com, uh, we love you. Keep bearing on, folks.